those students, here we have a spring, block, pulley, and string system, right? Let's see. The two masses, A and B, each of mass M, are initially in equilibrium. Now, the string between A and B is cut. We have to find out the acceleration of block A just after the string between A and B is cut, right? There are four options given. Let's analyze the situation and find out. As you can see, this is a string cutting, spring cutting problem, right? So the basic idea here is that before cutting and just after cutting, right? The tension in the string will change instantaneously, but the tension in spring will not change instantaneously, right? So we have to analyze the situation just before cutting and just after cutting. Let's analyze it before cutting. Before cutting the string between A and B, the system was in equilibrium. So we can apply the condition of equilibrium, which is net force equal to zero on all the blocks over here separately, right? I can say that under equilibrium condition, block B has two forces acting on it, vertically downwards gravitational force, which will be balanced by vertically upwards the tension. So tension in the string AB will be equal to mg. And if we talk about the tension in the string connecting A to the pulley, TAP, we can say that this tension is balancing out this entire weight of A and B combined, right? So TAP becomes equal to mg plus mg, 2mg, okay? TAP is 2mg. Also, if we look at the pulley, we will say that vertically upwards, there are two forces, T and T, vertically downwards, 2T. So, of course, tension in the spring will become T as well. So at this particular instant, if there is an extension of X in the spring, we can say that KX is equal to T. Okay. This was analysis before the cutting. Let's go just after the cutting. So just after the string connecting A and B is cut, B becomes free now, right? B was only hanging due to the string. Now B is free to fall down under gravity. So acceleration of B is G vertically downwards. Now we have to find out acceleration of A. For that, we can apply Newton's second law of motion in vertical direction, right? We can, bal we can write the forces in vertical direction. So I can say that vertically upwards, there is tension in string AP. So 2T minus mg is equal to mass into acceleration, right? We get the value of acceleration as g. So acceleration is g vertically upwards. So I can look at the options and say option number d is the correct answer.